Hi, my name is Richard Fairgray. I'm the author and artist on the ongoing horror comic series, Black Sand Beach. It's a story about a boy named Dash, his best friend Lily, and his cousins Andy and Eleanor, as they try to navigate a summer trapped amongst the mysteries, magic, and terror at the beach on the edge of the darkness. My job is to scare people, and I love my work. I think there are five key elements to the kind of horror I write. Those are anticipation, safety, distortion, humor, and character. For me, being scared is the best feeling in the world. There's no better feeling than right before you read or watch something scary of imagining just how terrifying it's going to be. The problem is that as I get older, I'm scared of fewer and fewer things. If I could find a way to capture that sense of anticipation, that fear of what you might be afraid of, I think I'd be a billionaire by now. And let's face it, that's always the goal. I mean, scaring people, not being a billionaire. Or, you know, I, you know what? It's both. It's both. It's, I want to scare people into making me a billionaire. I want to be a scary billionaire. That works, yeah. The reason anticipation matters is that monsters are only scary until you see them in daylight. The difference between a real vampire and some nerd who bought a vampire costume is lighting. A real vampire wanders the streets and shadows hiding from the light. A nerd who bought himself a cool vampire costume just wants to show it off in the most well-lit area he has in his house. The longer you can keep the monster hidden, the longer you can make your audience imagine what the monster is going to be, the scarier it's going to be for that brief second when they finally see it, and the better your story is going to be. All our lives we've been told that houses are safe. There's literally a saying, safe as houses. This is because a house is a home. It's where our family are, it's where our things are, it's where the people who are meant to protect us against the bad things are. So when that becomes scary, that's the scariest possibility. The key to writing a good story is to create a safe place within the story, make it seem very, very safe, and then just twist it a little bit. There are two ways to do this. You can either have the scary thing come from outside the house into the house, have the monster get in through the front door, have the, the monster be hiding there all along, have the people inside the house become the monsters themselves, or, as I prefer to do, make sure the safest place never looks that safe to begin with. In Black Sand Beach, the house is absolutely the safest place to be. But it was also built by Dash's dad, Dale, who doesn't look like he can really dress himself in the mornings, so you probably don't trust him to actually build your home. It wobbles, it's on poles, there's mismatching pieces of wood of different lengths just hammered willy-nilly all over each other in the hope that eventually it's going to create a structure. Also, there's a front door that gets broken in almost every chapter. How safe can you really ever be? And see, the good thing about creating an unsafe space within a safe space is that it means that for the reader, there's never a chance to relax. Because even when the characters think they're safe, you as the writer know that something bad is coming, that something is already inside the walls, and those characters don't know about it. That's how you play a trick on your audience. You make sure that they know something worse is coming for the characters. Distortion is the act of taking something ordinary and familiar and twisting it just a little bit. If you take something ordinary and make it strange, take something the audience wants to look at for comfort and make it unsettling, you can keep them right on the edge of screaming for as long as you like. And this can be as simple as putting something in just the wrong place. If you show me a howling wolf monster with glowing eyes and an eight-foot tongue, there's a solid chance I might remember it. But if I go into your bathroom and I see corn cob holders and the toothbrush cup, I am never going to forget how weird that is. That will stick with me for the rest of my life. And that's, of course, what brings us to humor. Jumping is a relief. Screaming is a relief. Seeing the big scary monster for the first time is, of course, a relief. So why can't laughter be the same relief? You know how it's really fun to scare people? The reason it's fun is because when you dress up in your super dope ghost costume and hide somewhere and then jump out at someone, there's the brief second where they're afraid, then they come to realize that they were silly for being afraid. They see you're dressed in a plaid ghost costume because you're a plaid salesman who died, and they're immediately relieved that it's really you and overwhelmed with a sense of embarrassment that they were afraid of a plaid ghost. If I were to dress up as the world's scariest thing for real and then try and jump out at someone, they may die of fright, they may beat me to death with the hammer they're holding just out of defense. Neither of those things are particularly fun. And this brings me to the final element, character. If you want to make people care that a character gets scared, if you want people to be scared with the character, you have to make them care about that character first. If you don't create, as a fundamental baseline for your story, characters that people are on board with from page one, 
then no one is going to be afraid when their lives are in jeopardy. Because they're just going to look at it and say, that's fine, bland face McNobody is going to get eated. So that's why I try and always have a range of characters, likable, dislikable, but always sympathetic and empathetic in some way so that you will care about them. And the easiest way to do that is have them care about each other. In Black Sand Beach, the most important element is always that Dash and Lily are best friends, and that the family, even though they don't like each other, definitely love each other. They will always have each other's backs, even when they don't really want to spend that much time stuck in a summer house together. This is what makes it even more scary uh, in the third story in the first book, when Lily gets replaced by definitely not a cow, and she has to realize that because of some spooky magic, the actual bond of their friendship wasn't enough to keep them from even recognizing who she is. And that's what I'm talking about when I say, take that safety and twist it. So, to recap, if you're wanting to write a really scary story, take something ordinary, change it just a little bit, put it in the wrong place, and then watch as characters you love fundamentally unravel. It's either going to be hilarious or terrifying, or, ideally, both. Thanks for watching.